I had an unfortunate conversation with somebody as I just sat and listened, and they talked about how great it was that they didn't have kids, so they had more money. Well, is money more important than life with people, than relationships and family? I think not. And by the way, it doesn't have to be either other, either or. Many of my clients are financially independent, wealthy and secure by saving, even though they, of course, had the expenses of children in life. Hi, folks. I'm Colin Richards, president and founder of Lord & Richards, and I am so excited to be talking to you today on this episode of The Lord & Richards Show. One of the things that makes it so exciting is I'm recording during the Christmas season, and it's just before Christmas, and here in Denver where I record and where I make my home, uh, we're going to have a white Christmas. It's in the forecast. I know it's going to happen. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see behind me there's not a whole lot of snow in the view, but it's coming. It's coming. And you know, Christmas is a wonderful time of the year to reflect on the things that matter most. Oh yes, we'll enjoy the drive through light shows. We took our clients last week through the Denver Zoo lights and walked through those. Uh, we'll enjoy the holiday parties and the festive season. But all of that is secondary if you know Christ, because Christ, Jesus, is the reason for the season. And in this particular episode, I want to zero in on the second of the four great pillars that we talk about at Lord & Richards of a happy, successful life. Because as I'm meeting with you and folks just like you every single day, you're expressing to me very similar goals. Goals around faith, goals around being with family and supporting family and leaving legacy to family, goals around personal health and fitness. And of course, we're talking to people just like you about becoming financially independent so you can support all those things without having to go back to work. But as I zero in on family, I had a lot to say, but I realized that it was nothing compared to what the Bible has to say about family. As you know, at Lord & Richards, our principles of not only investing, but how we uh, provide wisdom to our clients are based on the Word of God. Well, what does the Word of God have to say about the family? Well, thankfully, a lot, a lot. Listen to one of the older passages on the family, Psalm 127, Psalm 127. Unless the Lord builds the house... Those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil, but he gives to his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. These are wonderful, wonderful promises around that beautiful pillar of family, what is so important. And of course, my clients who are married are expressing their love for one another. And if they've been blessed with their children, their desire to be with their children, to have a beautiful relationship. And sometimes things enter in that can harm and damage that relationship. And I would point you to the Prince of Peace, Jesus, who can bring peace to those relationships. And my clients love to talk about the grandkids, especially when they're really little. My clients just love watching their little grandkids. And, you know, in our household right now at Christmas, we're blessed to have our family here. We've got the grandparents. My son has driven in from across the country, so I have all of my kids here. And we're enjoying an amazing time together. These are just such wonderful seasons. But the passage we just read in Psalm 127 says that unless the Lord is building this this household, it's a vain labor. You see, because what is left? We've had beautiful relationships. We've shared love. But we want that relationship to really be eternal. Eternal. And that's a God-sized problem. Unless the, the Lord watches over our house, our city, our community, it's vain. You see, it's God that provides safety and security to his people. And it's in vain to be anxious and to wait up late at night and to rise up early fretting, as this passage says, eating the bread of anxious toil, because there's a peace that God gives. The Bible calls it a peace that passes all understanding. He gives his beloved sleep, sleep. And then there's another beautiful gift. Not all of us get to enjoy this gift, but for those who do, it is truly a reward. Children are a heritage from the Lord, his gift, his legacy to you. 
and it is like an arrow in the hand of a warrior. A warrior can do so much in immediate proximity, but in Bible times, the long-range weapon was the arrow, and the arrow allowed that warrior to extend his influence and impact, literally, well beyond his own range of being able to strike. And so, as a mother or a father, your children extend the values, they extend the important principles that you've raised your children to do well beyond. And so they're a blessing. They are um, something that that the Bible says is wonderful to fill up your quiver with. There's nothing wrong with having kids. I had an unfortunate conversation with somebody as I just sat and listened, and they talked about how great it was that they didn't have kids, so they had more money. Well, is money more important than life with people, than relationships and family? I think not. And by the way, it doesn't have to be either other, either or. Many of my clients are financially independent, wealthy, and secure by saving, even though they, of course, had the expenses of children in life. And then this verse ends by saying, you're not going to be put to shame. As a matter of fact, if you raise your kids for the glory of God, there's no shame in that. It, it brings honor to you. And your, your children will come back and call you blessed and will honor you. Well, what are we doing this year as a family? Well, the first thing is to make Christ the most important thing in our church, but also in our home. We're spending time giving glory to God, and we will on Christmas Day as we thank him for his many blessings. But also being together is important, and we plan to spend time together all through this year with various members of our family. I think sometimes we get so far apart. Don't let distance, don't let the inconvenience keep you from enjoying the love and the warmth of family. And by the way, let me add into here, there are friends that are closer than family. The Bible says there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And so including these vital relationships, we already know when we talk about the science of longevity that these kinds of loving relationships between family members and close, close friends are life extenders for you. So this spills over into the third pillar of fitness, of health, of actually by loving others and giving of yourself to your friends and and of your family, you're actually extending your own life, extending your own influence. And so I want to thank the families that Lord and Richard serve. I had the opportunity this week to meet with the children of one of my clients. It's really neat to see that cycle come around. And as the parents teach wisdom about money and faith and and family and fitness, for the children to adopt that very young. And I love that. I love talking. People will say, well, do you guys have a minimum investment at Lord & Richards? Well, there, there has to be some savings there. Let's say that. You've got to be working on that. But we're working with our clients' children, and we love it because in many cases, when we're working with our clients who are already close to or in retirement, we're solving problems that were created, such as tax problems and so forth. However, if we get started early, we can really build on a great foundation and do things that you know aren't possible to do when you're on the doorstep of foundation, uh, 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 the doorstep of your retirement or financial independence. So, folks, these are the conversations that are so important to us every day. It's not just about money at Lord & Richards, although that's important and critical. We expend a great deal of time and effort and energy to make sure our clients become financially independent. This is what we worry about. This is what we lie awake about at night. But we also have peace with God because he gives his beloved sleep, right? But I would love to have a conversation with you. My team and I would love to help you, to surround you, to come alongside of you and help you achieve all of the most important goals in your life, to have a happy, successful life. It simply starts with a phone call.